Welcome back to my channel, Firewall Gyan. Today we are going to discuss very important part, which is this guy. Command line tool. You see on checkpoint smart console dashboard. So we or most of the engineers who works on a checkpoint they don't have a clarity uh, what is this command line given here what is the purpose uh, where we use and what situation we will use this command line so all these questions will be answered today on this video so consider you have a situation that you need to add network objects you need to add network subnets with their network part etc and on the go you can use this command line here so there's a lot of saying that uh, we use this command line for the purpose of you know uh, the you know scripting language so you run sort of script scripting language from i mean what are the language we have for the Scripting, you can run it from here, but it's not actually a purpose for the scripting language. Basically, we don't run uh, those things from here, right? So, basically, whatever the command line we are seeing here, it follows the principle of REST. So, basically, you send it a query, it gives a response based on that query processing the result of the query and deciding what to do next is a functional of the program whatever the command we write it will give you output from that that is the purpose of this thing uh, so the smart console CLI is not a general purpose scripting engine it merely allow you to make API calls with no scripting language. So we'll be seeing that part in a little bit. Okay. Let me clear the screen and let me walk you through one important document, uh, which freely available on Checkpoint Firewall. If you search for this management API reference, and whichever the latest available version on the checkpoint side will come to this document and over here if you see there is something called management CLI tools and under that if you see the things mentioned these all things you can you know deliver or run from that uh, smart CLI so let's do that work. I just wanted to, you know, show you that. Let me copy this command itself. And I'll just paste this on the command line here. And I'll enter. So it's basically giving me an error that this object IP address is already present. Let's tweak little bit on the IP address and rerun the command. So let me copy paste this and say give the IP say 78 See the command is got executed. What it means with no output here that means the command this command is got executed and if you see uh, this host 
you will get this IP address for sure. Let me go here and see my host. And yeah, it is available. So the command got run and that host is got added with that simple command as you can see on my screen. Generally, uh, the commands which we have available with the uh, checkpoint SSH station, what we take with the gateway or with the uh, management server, the commands like say uptime or with the uh, cluster CPA chip or that or whatever the debug things, AW, CTO, Z debug drop all these things will not execute from this it's basically the uh, a tool where you can you know run some sort of rest api commands which is available uh, via the this guide so likewise you can you know add or you can make your life easy using this cli right so guys i hope uh, you like this video and you found this video informative so try to subscribe my channel for latest whatever the latest uh, upload a video i will you will get for my channel thanks for watching this video and have a good day